You're looking for how to start an used tire business, right? Awesome search. This is going to be a video review. Uh, my name is Brando Linick, and when it comes down to this over the last four and a half, almost five years now at the time of shooting this video, having tried a lot of different types of opportunities over like that period of time, some of them worked, some of them different, didn't work, um, dealing with, you know, the process and the learning curve of some of that stuff and the blood, sweat, and tears put into it when it comes to this specifically, all right, you got to look at, from a business perspective in this review, your margins. You got to look at your upfront investment. You got to look at what it takes to maintain and grow and build the business. And I want to touch base on this because having seen a lot of people start, you know, different types of businesses and then fail to look at this and then beat their head against the wall after, you know, six months to a year. It's really to help you by the end of this video make an informed decision, you know, what approach you want to take, what way you want to tackle this, and really if this business model can get you the results that you want. So when it comes to used tire business, I mean, it can be as simple as going out to, you know, scrap yards and you can go to also uh, car part yards. You can get used car tires, all right, there, and then you can mark up the price and you can sell it on the internet. And that'd probably be the best way to go, the best approach I would share with you, having got around people who've done it and sold things on Craigslist, sold things on eBay, sold things on uh, Amazon, but I will tell you this much, when you're dealing with a physical item, when you're dealing with shipping and handling, when you're dealing with used car tires, you got to keep in mind, first off, it's got to be a legal one, all right, it can't be illegal, it can't have uh, so much wear and tear on it that, you know, if you put it on a car, it just can't operate, okay, you got to make sure that these used car tires are actually, you know, good, good in quality, but dealing with the process of shipping and handling those things out, dealing with those fees that are going with it, you got to keep in mind from a business perspective, this automatically will cut down your profit margin, all right, because you have that overhead. And the more overhead you have, all right, the less income that you're going to be able to make. So from a business perspective, yes, it's a simple business to start, kind of just sharing with you in an essence of how to get that going. But I will tell you this much, if you're looking at this just from a business perspective, because it's a simple business, you know you can make money. If those are similar reasons as to why you're looking at it, to be your own boss, to make money, all right, to quit your job, I've got to lead on a theory away before you consider completely tackling starting an used tire business because my experience and story with this, if you're looking at becoming your own boss and building a business, goes back about a year ago uh, when I came across a person. And this person was actually on my Facebook friends list. They were building a business for a while. I hadn't really paid attention to them. But the cool part was I dug in a little bit deep on what they were doing because I always saw pictures of them traveling around the world. And their results are not typical or average. I am not guaranteeing you the same results that they created. But they were building a business and doing so without having to buy low and sell high, which in a sense you'd be doing with its car tire business. All right, you're buying low from like a scrapyard, a wholesaler, and then you'd be selling high, marketing up retail price and making the, the profits in between there, which means, all right, you're going to have to make a lot of sales per month to maintain at least a four-figure monthly income, all right? So you got to keep, keep in mind you're making at least, you know, a couple hundred sales a month, and uh, it, it, it can be a lot of work, all right? Which is why I came across this person. They weren't doing that, all right? They weren't buying loans, selling high. They weren't dealing with shipping and handling, so their profits were a lot higher. Their income was a lot higher, and they're using systems on the internet to do the heavy lifting for them without chasing people down, doing meetings with people, all right? And because they were doing this so lucratively, I had reached out to them. Um, luckily, they reached back to me. In less than a month of them sharing with me what it was that they were doing, I was able to create a full-time income business working part-time on the internet. Haven't looked back since. And uh, those aren't average or typical results either. <laughs> All right, I had to work pretty hard for that. I had to learn quite a bit of stuff. But it was applying consistent effort that I was able to do that, which is why you'd have to do that in any business to get it up and off the ground. And I share it with you strictly because if you want to build a business to make money, if you want to build a business to be your own boss, best thing you could do is learn how to build a business online and even though what I've been able to do is not a tire business and use tire business if this makes sense to you to get the results that you want maybe that's to build a business just to be your own boss alright so you don't have to work a job anymore maybe it's to build a business to travel more to have freedom to have flexibility if that is what you're looking for learn to build a business online but connect with someone who's already doing it because there's so much noise out there it can be overwhelming and misleading all right and instead of walking down the path that you've never taken walk down a path where someone's willing to guide you down it all right and i hope that makes sense it'll save you a lot of you know late nights and frustration that i personally had to go through when i first got started online i had to learn the hard way uh because i was stubborn so don't be stubborn <laughs> be open and if you are open-minded if you're willing to learn some things if you're willing to put in work and you're following me here and you're wondering, well, Brando, that's kind of, you know, a cliffhanger. Where can I connect with someone? Where can I find someone? 
I can be that person for you. If you're coachable, trainable, open-minded, you're willing to learn some things, you want to build a business to build your own income, and you're interested in building a business online, connect with me on my site. Check it out. It's 123marketingtips.com. The link will be in the description down below. And uh, I look forward to connecting with you from there, seeing your success story, and seeing you on the beaches of the world. Take care.